three of the advanced permaculture design process course, uh, which is being led by David Holmgren and myself, and I've got the group on an exercise where I want them to experience the difference between what I call assembling in a design process and partitioning. So I'll, I'll show you an example of each. So this group over here is in the assembling um, process. So I've given them a bunch of elements to print out. Where does the compost go to? It goes to the veggie beds. So their job is to um, assemble these elements from the wish list. This group, on the other hand, I'm getting them to partition, so just to, to move from the whole site and then to use uh, lines of partition to slowly move from pattern to detail, where the other folk are moving from detail to pattern. Yeah, all the shape. You can see the shading there. That's all the shading. Still doing their site analysis. Let's go and find someone who's started drawing some lines. Assembly. Assembly. There's a group over here that have been partitioning. And I really, I like finding ways to um, bring people into the experience of some of these differences um, that we're then able to be aware of or, or more aware of um, when we go and engage in real design processes in the, in the future, um, where the upshot is that some of these differences in the process create enormous differences in the, um, the style and the quality of the, of the outcome. So this is another group that's doing the partitioning. So we'll see where they're up to. Do <laughs> you draw any lines yet? No. No lines, okay. Okay, some lines are being drawn. Check them out. Yeah, I guess some lines going on.